Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates the first phase of the Kashi Vishwanath Corridor project. Five things you should know about this project in this video. I'm Arun Singh. Let's get started. The foundation stone was laid by the Prime Minister two years ago on 8th March 2019. It is constructed at the cost of 339 crore rupees and it is spread over a massive area of 5 lakh square feet that is close to or let's say more than six football grounds. Now an important question, why is it created? What was the need? So it's an age old tradition where pilgrims take dip in the holy river Ganga and collect the water and then go to the temple. Earlier pilgrims would have to combat the congested streets, but now they can use this corridor. Simple. There's a lot of conversation about buildings being inaugurated around it. So there are 23 buildings which have been inaugurated. And what are these buildings for? Well, these buildings will serve as Yatri Suvida Kendra, Tourist Facilitation Center, Vedic Kendra, Bhogshala, City Museum, Food Court, etc. Now, the earlier premises was limited to 3000 square feet, which is now blown up to 5 lakh square feet. Now, this would have required rehabilitation. And of course, that has happened. Around 1400 shopkeepers, tenants and homeowners have been rehabilitated for this project. And as per uh, PMO's brief uh, about this project, they have been amicably compensated as well. And the matter is settled. Now, in the end, the timing of this inauguration is very close to elections in Uttar Pradesh and it was supposed to create political ripples and it has. Samajwadi Party's Akhilesh Yadav has said that this project was initiated by Samajwadi Party and they'll talk with proof and they'll give documents to prove their statement. He also went on to say that all of this is happening so that government escapes providing double income to farmers. It is distracting in his words. But interestingly, this is the third project that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is inaugurating in Uttar Pradesh in a week. Last week, he launched projects worth 9600 crore rupees in Gorakhpur, which is Yogi Adityanath's stronghold, and then Saryu Kanal project in Balrampur as well. And it doesn't stop there. He's also scheduled to visit the state for two more events this month. But will BJP be able to access the dividends of such announcements and inaugurations in the upcoming elections? Well, we'll have to see in the time to come. With this, we've come to an end of this video. I'm Arun Singh. It's goodbye from my side.